Okay, what we're going to show you now is how to do some basic corrections to photographs. Uh, you should probably do to all photographs that you're working with, uh, but especially ones that you're taking with your cell phone. Um, even though cell phones are pretty good now, so we're going to go in. There's a link um, to this, but uh, in your uh, uh, in-class assignments page. Well, let's go here to this child photo and just click on the corner. So only it's selected and nothing else and hit the download button. If you have more than one selected, it's going to come up and ask for a zip file. Now see this says zip. That means there's more than one selected. So I'm going to come down here. See beach is also selected. So we're going to deselect that one. Let's just pick the child here and download. And now it wants to open with Photoshop. Now you should have a chance in, even in a Mac to pick which program is going to open the file. Or you can just save it to your hard drive and open it from Photoshop from there. But I'm just skipping that step by telling it to go ahead and open directly into Photoshop. Now I already launched Photoshop. There it is. It's sitting there open already. So, But even if it's not, it will go ahead and launch. So here it is. Now, now this is the basic photograph. This is what it looks like as shot. Um, here is the layers palette over here. So here's all the tools over here. But this is just a basic correction. So I'm going to select the background layer and I can just right click on it and I can say duplicate layer or I can come over here and use the keyboard shortcut which is command J on the Mac and when you do that it makes a copy. Okay. Now this is a copy of the background layer. So if I turn off this bottom layer you say that this is just the copy of the background. They're the same image. Okay. So on this image, I'm going to turn it into a smart filter. So I just right click on it. Now I have to be over here on the move tool, which is this top tool. Okay, and then I right click and I'm going to convert it to a smart object. Now what that does is that allows me to apply filters to it that can later then be modified. If you apply filters without making it a smart object, then you cannot go in and modify them without doing going through undos because whatever you do with filters is then sort of baked into the photo and the only way you can undo it is to go through the undos or the history palette. Now if I go up here to window and history and expand this a little bit you can see what we've done so far was just open the file and make a layer copy and then convert it to a smart object. Okay, So you can go back through here and undo what you've done but it's easier to go into the actual filters and change them rather than to have to go through all the undos which may do undo other things that you've done that you don't want to undo. <laughs> I know that sounds confusing. but Anyway, so now that we have this layer and we have a copy here, let's click on the layer one and we're so it's selected. I'm going to go up here and go to the filter that you should probably use on all the photos that you're working with. It's called the Camera Raw Filter. Now that is actually designed to work with Camera Raw files, but you don't have to use Camera Raw files. In this case, this is a JPEG image. So you can work on JPEGs in here, and it gives you a lot of control. So what we're going to do here is, this is the image, and we're just going to go ahead and hit the Auto. So all of these things, exposure, contrast, highlight, shadows, whites, blacks, clarity, vibrance, saturation. We'll worry about what those things are later. But let's just go ahead and hit auto. And as you can see, we get a, a quite a change here in terms of if I hit default, that's what it started out as. And if we hit auto, we get a nice change here. Notice we can see this a lot more clearly. She's a little bit better color balanced here. So you can also try to fool around with the white balance. If you go here and do an auto white balance, that kind of takes off all of the, the uh, lighting that was done and kind of neutralizes everything. In this case, we, we don't really want to do that. Um, we want to go ahead and just keep it as shot so it keeps that kind of hue that it had before. But what we're going to do down here is come down here and keep punch up the clarity. And notice when we do that, how the girl really starts jumping out of the background. Now what you can see is you could come down here to this little indicator here. You can turn it off. This is before and after. Before, after. So you can see she jumps out quite a lot uh, from what she did before. Okay? So this is a very basic correction on her. And then we go ahead and say okay. Now you can see down here, if we want to go in and change any of this, like let's say we show it to the client and they don't like this sort of tinted light, so we could come down here and click on the camera off filter to bring it back up. And then we could change the white balance to auto, which will take away that color. 
okay and I'm not even gonna say okay to that what I'm gonna do over here is just I'm gonna duplicate this layer again which again I can right click on it and say duplicate layer okay. now it duplicates the filters and everything so on this particular one I'm gonna open the filters and I'm gonna go to the white balance and change it to auto okay so this is and then I'm gonna say okay now remember this is also a smart object so also right now it, it's it's a little tiny bit in my mind overexposed so I'm gonna go back into my camera off filter and I'm gonna go to exposure and turn the exposure down just a little and say okay well, what's mostly changed is the white balance. We lost that tinted color. So if we just turn off this, we can see there is with the color. That's without the color. Okay. And then this is without any adjustment at all. This is the original photo. Okay. And notice it's a little soft because we applied the clarity to it, which sort of sharpened her up a bit. Okay, so let's stick with that one right there. And now you can just save this to your hard drive. Just file. And let's do export. And you can just do a quick export as a PNG file. And that you can uh, save to your hard drive and later upload to your WordPress site. And you're going to post it on your in-class assignments page. Now what you're going to do in there is you're going to post your original un unedited photo, which all you have to do is turn this off. Okay, This is the original. So with all these two turned off, you can do file, export as a quick PNG. And then, of course, navigate to your hard drive. And instead of child, you could just... You could just do child and then just type like a ridge and just save it out. Okay, and then make sure you know where you're saving it to. Make a folder on your hard drive. And then you can come back here and you can say here's the enhanced version. Okay, so, and then go back and just do the same thing again. File, export, quick export as a PNG. And then you could say with raw. Oh, filter and just save that out again save it make a folder and save it to the folder for this assignment on your hard drive and then you can upload it to your WordPress site and publish it okay now let's open one more so I'm going to close this one now that I've saved it out so I don't need to save it because I've already saved it to my hard drive so let's go back here and show you another relatively simple fix here again this one uncheck this girl and check this young lady and again download and it should already because you did it the first time have Photoshop here ready to go click OK now we're just gonna do the same thing we're just gonna click here and I could I could just do the keyboard shortcut which is command J but I'm just gonna duplicate the layer here background copy that's fine okay I'm gonna go back to the filter and camera raw And again, just apply the auto and see what we get here. Quite a difference. And then we're going to boost up the clarity a bit to sharpen her up. And we can see before, after. Okay. And say OK. And again, just to save the original, you just turn off the modified layer. And this will be File, Export, Quick Export as a PNG. And this will be woman a ridge okay, and save that out of course make a fold put it in that folder on your hard drive okay and you can turn this back on and just say file export quick export to PNG and just change this one to raw filter okay, and then save it out to that same hard drive okay all right so now we're going to add uh, one more layer of things you can do in closing this out. Go back to the web page. Let's uncheck this young lady. Okay. So now we're going to go and do something with, um, with this uh, beat shot. So we're going to click here, select it. Go back to make sure nothing else is selected. If you open it, if you download it and it tries to tell you it's a zip file, just undo that and then go back and find which one is selected because it's more than one that's selected it'll try to download it as a zip okay and just click on it and it'll open in Photoshop 
Okay, now again, we're going to just make an, a copy. And again, you can just use Command J. You don't have to right click and duplicate that way, but that's okay. Okay, and then we're going to convert this to a smart object. Okay, and then we're going to go to the camera off filter. Now, what I'm going to do first is go ahead and do the auto. Okay, and kind of darken it up a little bit, which I I'm not in love with. But I can just pump the exposure back up just a little bit. Just to kind of lighten it back up to where sort of the area where it was. I can play with the white balance again. I can go auto. It kind of neutralizes it a little bit. Okay, and now I'm going to apply this, which is a a graduated filter to try to give that sky some some character but I'm gonna need um, well the graduated filter kind of makes a um, a, uh, a, 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 a selection here that goes from a very selected to less selected so in order to do that I'm gonna zoom out on this image a little bit to make it smaller so I click on this minus a couple times and then I select this tool and I'm gonna select from outside the picture here and click and drag down and watch what happens. As I do, it gives the sky some character here. Now also that's affecting the water to some degree and I don't really want to affect the whole image, although I could. But what I want to do is I want to affect just the water of the beach. So I'm going to twist it just a little bit and pull it down like this. So now it's not really affecting the sand, maybe a little bit in the top left corner there, but that is now what we have going on. And I'm going to say OK to this. OK, so that's what the result of what we have now. So we have before and after. So we have a nicely enhanced image here. And again, just save out file, export, quick export as a PNG. And then this would be beach original. And then turn this, I mean, a breach a raw filter. So this is this is with the filter, and then we can turn this off, and file, export, PNG, and this would be beach a ridge. Okay, save to that folder. Now you're gonna take all these pictures, and you're gonna upload both the original and the modified raw filter modified version, one after the other, up onto your WordPress site and post it in your in-class assignments page. Now we're going to do one more camera raw adjustment uh, that involves a couple more steps. So let's go here on the skier, select, just click this little checkbox in the upper right hand corner, hit download, and you've already set up so it's going to open in Photoshop. So again, this picture is okay, it's just kind of dull. Okay, let's click on this, duplicate the layer, or hit Command J, make a copy, right click, make sure you're on the move tool over here, the top tool, keyboard shortcut for that's the letter V, and convert it to a smart object, go to filter, camera raw filter, Okay. Now, the first thing we're going to do here is just go ahead and give it the auto correction. And that sort of changes a little bit. Um, but let's go ahead again and let's go to an auto white balance. Take away some of that dinginess and let's punch up the, the saturation a bit. Get her shirt and her hair going. We don't want to turn it, turn her like she just walked out of a nuclear reactor. Just want to just dial it in so it's nice and saturated, and then maybe dial up the clarity just a little bit to get her sharpened up a bit. Okay, that's pretty good. Just eyeball it. Now the last thing we'll do. Because we've changed the saturation, we've changed the white balance, and now we're going to fix the sky just a little bit. Not that the sky's bad, but again, so we can select way up above it, we're going to hit the minus key a couple of times. Just make the picture a little smaller. Go for this gradient filter. And start nicely up above the picture and click and drag down. And 
and get this guy going. And we don't want to do this too, too much. I make this guy too dark. You can also grab it here. Okay. And we'll just zoom this back in. Okay. All right, so there we got it. Okay, and so we have a before, yuck, and after. Kind of nice. All right, again, let's turn this off and go to File, Export. Crack Export is a PNG, and we'll call this Skier, a Ridge, and save it out, and then turn on the enhancements with the raw filter and go back up here file export quick export is png and we'll call this skier raw filter okay put these up on your site the original and the modified version okay